Okay, so in this uh, tutorial, which, which is continuing from previous videos, uh, we'll do some really cool stuff here with class tags and drop shadows, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, a few of you made a comment about uh, you weren't too happy with that uh, that magnifying glass scroll circle in previous videos. So um, um, that's what the view this video is to full screen it because I shoot it in high definition. Uh, a 1080 IP. So uh, I don't have to use that scroll if you don't want me to. Uh, <clears throat> I just want to get, I just want to show you my techniques here. So uh, if you view this in full screen, you'll be fine. So let's go to file, save as. So let's save this as version 6. Okay. Now let's proceed where we left off here in our last episode. We put this inside of H group tag and H group tag. Okay, now we don't have, we don't technically have a rule for our section here. I'm sorry, for our article. Article is basically news article. Think of an article as a complete story. You can have many articles inside your section, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, here's a particular problem here. So this is the article tag, so you can have many article tags inside your section tag. So as an example, just like we ID the div tags, we can ID the article tag based on the article tag. So you can call it article one, article two, et cetera, et cetera. If you want to keep it generic, if you want to keep it specific, of course, then you can basically put whatever the article tag contains. Okay. So as an example, here's the article tag. So we can create a rule for the article tag. So let's say article tag, select the tag, come over here to the CSS property palette, CSS styles palette, and make a rule. Now, very important step here, pay close attention. Okay, we want to make an article tag when article is inside of a section. Okay, the way that Dreamweaver wants to write this selector, that's not how it's writing it. We don't care about the class tag and the background class tag. We don't want to be, we don't want to pigeonhole ourselves because if the page changes, this rule is not going to be applicable. Okay. So what we're going to do here is change this to section. So quite simply, this is saying article and article is inside of section. Follow these rules. So we can say article inside of a section. Now, if we gave the article an ID, just like giving a div tag an ID, then we can specifically talk to the article tag inside that section. So let's just keep this simple. I'm gonna hit okay. So article tag inside the section tag. So article tag inside of section tag. The only thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna offset this a little bit. We're gonna put in an additional 20 pixels of padding, just so you can visually see what happens to the article tag and the article tag is inside of the section tag. So you know, okay. So what this did is this put more padding between the article tag and the section tag. Now, the section tag, if this is the top of our section for say our content or our news section or top events for the site, whatever the site happens to be about. So I'm going to change this to something called News you can use. And we're going to make this an H1 tag, man. One. Now, it's an H1 tag. Now, this is defaulting to the H1 tag for the entire site. But as we learned in previous videos, I can make an H1 tag specifically for section tag. So, how do we do that? Well, we simply select the tag, select the tag, and make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. Now again, because I have these class tags, I don't want to pigeonhole myself to talk to the class tags in, in case I change the class tag. So exactly how this rule is written is exactly what it will be applicable to. So in this particular case, we're going to keep this very simple. We're going to say inside of section, inside of section, if I have an H1 tag, this is what I want to do. So I'm going to hit OK. So let's say I like the size, I don't like the color, and I don't like the case. So again, how CSS works, 
CSS, anything you see blank defaults to the parent tag. The parent tag is H1 tag by itself inside the CSS palette. Okay, so I don't want to change the font. I don't want to change the size. I simply want to change the color. So let's make the color white. Okay, and let's change the case to capitalized. So it's simply going to be news you can use, capitalized, and white. Okay, so let's okay that. Make a change, save a change. Good app to get into. So let's give this a drop shadow just for dramatic effect here. So how do I do that? Well, I would have a rule for, in CSS rules here, I have a rule for H1 when H1 is inside of section. Now, technically, this information for section tag should go inside of section. Okay, there's the section information. Okay, so section information, so this should say section, section, article. So that's how it should read. So let's create this, so let's make this a drop shadow here. In fact, let's do a couple things here, just because we can. Now, pay no attention to the actual design of the site. It's not looking, it's not a very good design. It's the, it's the concept. It's how I can build, how I can do, how I can change. That's the concept of these videos, because one person's design is another person's nightmare, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So let's do a couple of cool things here. First of all, let's decide the H1 tag inside of, inside of section, let's add a property. These are HTML5 properties that you can't do inside the dialog box. Most of the HTML5 properties are not available to me here. I have to go to add property. So I'm gonna do a couple of things here. First of all, let's just put this inside of a separate box. So we can do that inside of the property window. So we're gonna say, let's just say, box, let's give this some padding here, four pixels, okay? Let's make the background a darker 